I'm Tom with the Vending Business Show, and today we've got some interesting clips from a webinar that we recorded some time ago. And on it, there was Larry Towner, who you've seen here before, Joe Nichol, who, Nichols, who is the owner of A&M Equipment Sales, and Dan Jordan, who is like a, a salesman's salesman. He's a, he coaches salesmen, basically. These three guys are a lot of fun. They're hilarious when they get together. So you're you're going to enjoy this segment. It's just a clip from the webinar. So let's get right to it. Move into what I like to call extended networking. And to me, extended networking is who else's network can you tap into? Meaning, there's people out there that do things that that allow you to tap into their network. And probably one of the biggest ones is who sells to a similar customer. And what do you do right now for work? What's your job? What's your means of profession? Right now, I have a uh, staffing company. Uh, oh, my phone is back. I have a staffing company where I, I, I help uh, companies with the, who need the strong, conscientious, hardworking, good-looking people to work with. Yeah, and so so you happen to sell to people because we we did this when we did our practice show. You tended to you tend to sell to a lot of people that buy vending or vending services. We found out in our in our practice thing. I always looked at who sells to similar customers. Well, uniform companies do, office coffee coffee services do, business supply companies do, and we found out staffing companies too. Dan, how many vendors have contacted you about? Sending them leads. Uh, I can count that. Actually, I can't count it on one hand because it's zero. It's now, zero. I I have I have given I've given probably in the past year three or four accounts to a uh, to a vendor friend of mine, uh, all unsolicited. But what happens is I'll go into a place, and uh, you know every time I, I'm dealing, I, like I said, I go in the back door just like you. And I'm dealing with light industrial warehouse workers, and there's always vending there. And sometimes they're not uh, they're empty. And people actually sometimes people are just complaining about their vending, walking around. <laughs> you know they hate stale honey buns. Right? You're a source of good leads. I sure am. And every staffing person is. And it's every amazing. Staff. Yeah, it's amazing what people will do for a free honey bun. Well, the good thing about a staffing the good thing about a staffing company is when when they're contacting you for more employees, that means they're ramping up, which means uh you can make more money in that account because there's gonna be more employees. And maybe the current vendor doesn't know that and he's hitting it once a week when he should be hitting the thing twice a week. So we'd say they might be all running out all the time. So a staffing well, company would be a good uh, good way of going. I'll tell you right now how to give how to get all the business from the staffing companies around your neighborhood. All you have to do is when you go to your accounts, contact a staffing company and say I have a lead for you. And it's a good lead. Now it doesn't mean that they're going to get it. But it's someone that you know that they use staffing, and it's probably good for them. And just the act of you giving them a lead makes them compelled to return the favor. Well, and so there you go. That's that's fantastic advice for what we're talking about. So that's one of one of the ways of who's you know I like to I always had several people out there who more or less worked indirectly for me. And in turn, I did send them leads as well. Just like Dan's saying, I turned around and sent them leads when I felt there was a need. I had several people in cleaning companies that were sending me leads. I had some uniform company guys that were sending me leads. Um, I did have some office coffee service guys that we were trading leads, and we sold the office coffee service, and they were still giving me vending leads. Um, business supplies is another one. They, we all, they all, all of us sell to the same, same customer. Thanks. You've been watching the Vending Business Show, a publication of A&M Equipment Sales. And if you'd like to get the full webinar, just subscribe, and I will send that link to you so you can see the entire thing.